hi there friends welcome back to my channel um i know it's been a long while since i uploaded a video on here but i've just been super busy with work i just got back into the country a couple of um weeks ago and yeah so it's just been a super busy time for me i'm sorry about that but i am bringing you a couple of videos in the next couple of weeks today i'm reviewing this book by zex and dam and it's called little sons in the next video to follow up in a couple of days i think actually um i'll be reviewing chimamanda's um the thing around your neck the collection of short stories i also have a teju call story that i'm book that i'm reading and that will be coming up soon and i have a few other videos coming up that hopefully you will come back for so yeah let's get into the review of this book here so if you watch my tbr list um video which is linked down below um you will see that i wanted to read a book by zig Sunda this year and it's my first um book that i'm ever reading by zig so the main character in this book is called malangana which means little sons that's the title of the book that name comes from the fact that malangana believes that or the people that gave him the name believe that they are different sons every day some of the sons are bigger and some of the sons are smaller that's his name little sons um so in the book you see malangana as this you know so you see him as a young man growing up in his 20s and then you see him as an older man and i must say i actually enjoyed um reading about him when he was an older man just because he was very like feisty and stubborn and just like the scenes with him were mostly very hilarious so i quite enjoyed that i found the story to be such an easy read very easy to get through it's not complex in any way but nonetheless captivating and the book the story is based in south africa in the late 1800s early 1900s and it's based mostly um in eastern cape or what is known as eastern cape today and what is known as lesotho today um i would say there are three main layers to the book um so the first layer is the story of this colonial um, magistrate called um, hope who was obviously brought here to as the british did to divide and conquer the people and take rule of of the land so the story is about hope and how he got defeated by you know by the paramount chief of the area during that time and it's based on true events which i obviously um enjoyed and the other layer is this love story um this love story between malanga and the main character and a girl who's described as a bushwoman umtwakazi who's a healer who's a diviner and they both meet because umtwakazi is helping the paramount chief's wife while she's sick and they try to um heal her and umalangana is the chief's brother so this is how they meet up and because of the war that happens between the the chief and hope umalangana and twagazi are separated because umalangana has to go to um yeah it has to go off to exile in lesotho and the third layer that comes out that comes across for me is definitely this use of magic realism you know the fact that um Omalangana the the way he's able to track down Omtwakazi is because he is able to sense her aura so that's how he is guided until they find each other but also the other um the other mentions of supernatural things the fact that Omtwakazi is um is a diviner is a, is a healer and there's just like a few things that happen that definitely come across as magic realism so i think those three layers make for such an interesting story and um i think zex you know did a great job of weaving you know all these historic facts all these historic figures into a love story that had supernatural elements i just think that was that was very good on his part and it's an interesting story it keeps you wanting to read and you want to know how these two characters 
um, end up together and how does um, Malangana survive his time in exile. So there are several reasons really why I enjoyed this this the story. Like I said, it's based on true historical facts. And I quite enjoyed reading about, you know, people like Malangana who had like resistance, who were resisting this British rule and British way of living and value systems. I mean, of course, we adopt so much of of that right now, which some of the things that I didn't even I didn't even realize, but through the story you can kind of tell how these things slowly sipped into how, you know, some of the cultures and some of the values that we have as a as a people. For instance, the whole killing of the magistrate hope was because of this resistance. Like we're gonna resist this. This is not how we do things. Um, this is, you know, like for instance, the chief was in mourning and according to tradition, you can't be, you can't be as a chief, you can't now go to war, you can't bear arms, you can't, you know, you can't eat meat that is salted, you know, just like these things that, um, Hope was not trying to understand and, um, the chief was highly, um, offended by these things and therefore he, he resisted, he put together an amazing strategy to kill hope and and hope was killed and yeah i guess the point that i'm making is that there were these things that we were introduced to that were never ours and it's just great reading about people who resisted it um and people who fought and people who yeah kind of tried holding on to what was theirs and obviously it's difficult because you know these people were overpowering they were dividing and conquering one you know one nation at a time one group of people at a time and yeah obviously understandable how how resistance at a time like that could have been difficult but it was good to read about other people who resisted in my i feel like i'm mumbling and just not making anything anymore um but yeah so if you enjoy reading about those kind of things then um this is the book for you i quite enjoy it. so in terms of the style of writing um i would mm, i wouldn't mm, i wouldn't say it's a con it's contemporary um and that's not necess not necessarily a bad thing it's just how it came across to me it's like more on the classic side there's just like his sense of the language that comes across is very classic i don't know if that makes sense um but you could definitely tell that the book was written by an older gentleman um yeah and like i said it's not necessarily a bad thing it's just his style of writing um, guys that was my review of this book little sons like I said, very easy to get through. I actually started reading this book when I found another book that I'm reading. Just so frustrating to get through because I'm just like, where is the story going? So it was nice to put that down and pick this up and have it be just like a breeze to get through. Interesting, captivating, but still a breeze to get through. So yeah. So if you're looking for an easy read, like I said, I highly recommend it. Um, and also, it takes some doubt, literary icon. Do it. Read it. And like I said, I am recording other videos. So for the next like three, four weeks, I want to say longer, there will be um, a video every week. I promise you that. I'm sorry I've been neglecting the channel. It hasn't been out of choice. It's just been circumstances. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in my next videos. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Oh my God, um, almost at 100. We need five more. Please tell your friends and your friends' friends to subscribe. Good content, right? Um, yeah, so subscribe, like if you like this video. Comment below if you've read this book or if you're planning to read it or if you read any Zig Sunda or just comment and tell me what you're reading at the moment and why you like it. Um, that's it. Um, see you in the next video.